Hello and thank you for joining us on the Monday edition of Journalist Hangout. I'm Binga Oreshegun. Today on the program, Dangote Refinery denies selling petrol to NNPCL at 898 Naira per litre, supplies 16 million litres. Nigerian Inland Waterways begins enforcement of Waterways Code in Lagos, deploys 76 marshals and 72 naval officers. And late on the show, Federal Civil Service retired workers seek urgent intervention on non-payment of their pensions since March 2023. I'll be hanging out with Babajide Kolade Utitoju and Chris Kendi Wadu. John, this hangout starts right now. Now let's begin the conversation. The seeming cold war between the Dangote Refinery and the Nigerian National Petroleum Company Limited, NNPCL, first over petrol quality and now pricing, appears endless. The Dangote Refinery has denied selling petrol at 898 naira per litre to the NNPCL. The group chief branding and communications officer at Dangote Refinery, Anthony Chejina, issued the rebuttal following the commencement of loading of petrol from the company on Sunday. After months of delays, Chejina stated that the refinery sold the products to NNPCL in dollars, resulting in significant savings compared to what they are currently importing. Uh, Biko, let's start the conversation this way. Uh, conflicting reports you know, coming back and forth, especially from uh, the NNPCL and uh, Dangote Refinery concerning the purchase and, and the price of PMS, which is raising questions, you know, about their business relationship. What, what do you make out of this? Um, some days back, you will recall that I complained that both Dangote and um, the NMPC were talking too much. And I'm really disturbed at some of what is going on because in a fight between two entities that Nigerians do not give their total trust to, when I say this, I know what I'm talking about. There are many Nigerians who are scared of Dangote because they, they believe that it will institute monopoly if it's permitted to. There are many Nigerians who over time have learned to distrust the NMPCL okay. because of the apparent inefficiency and lack of transparency in many matters. So, in a conflict between two such entities, the biggest casualty is always the truth. I don't know why you would say you didn't sell petrol at 8.98 per liter to the NMPC, and you came short of telling us the exact price that you sold the commodity. You see, on social media, those who have been saying, okay, NMPC, um, uh, Dangote, tell us exactly, put the matter to rest. Tell us how much you sold this commodity. Those who are asking that question, Nigerians are abusing them, accusing them of hating Dangote. We have now reached a terrible junction in our country whereby for asking a question, people will then see you as either supporting Tinobu or against him. We are not allowed to ask pertinent questions again. But why is Dangote not telling us? We are not allowed to ask pertinent questions again. And I pity Nigerians because a lot of them don't even know what's going on in that sector. These arguments are needless. 
focus on product availability because Nigerians after that. But you know, the people who manage information for Africa's richest man, okay. they also know that if they give that impression that it is this costly okay. to buy refined, uh, I mean crude, to buy petrol at its refinery, it will create a kind of negative um, narrative because the question, the feeling people had always had was that, oh, once Dangote begins the to roll out, the price will crash. Mm -hmm. There was an interview that uh, uh, Elijah Dangote granted some months back, I think about four or five months ago, okay. or close to that, where he also gave that impression. He was talking about, oh, freight costs will no longer be there, um, cost of insurance mm -hmm. will no longer be there, therefore the landing cost will go down tremendously. The, 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 the cost of um, um, PMS will go down tremendously once we're able to do uh, production locally. But as we have seen, even um, objective marketers have told us okay. that local refining is not a guarantee for lower price, for significantly lower mm -hmm. prices. When they tallied everything together, they still told us that even with local refining, if Dangote want to add its costs, another associated cost, cost of retailing and all that, it will still come to above 1,000. We are moving towards, this is, people, is, Nigerians are the pawns now in this game. Oh Remember there was a time that the impression was given out there the NMPC was refusing to sell pet, uh, crude oil crude oil. to Dangote. Mm. The NMPC then told us that between December and now, they've sold more than 30 million barrels. And there was no denial to that effect. But because NMPC itself has huge trust deficit, Nigerians have chosen not to believe whatever they say, even if they are saying the truth. Okay. Because we have a CEO of NMPCL that will tell us, oh, for Taco Refinery, three times on the bounce. Why don't you just shut up? Because you tell, so how will Nigerians trust you and you are the face of the, hmm. uh, of the company? If they can't trust you, that you, the CEO, can tell them that the refinery in Port Harcourt will begin to roll out uh, petroleum products at so 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 time. And they can go to bed believing that it will happen. Mm -hmm. How will they trust? Whatever an NPC says, even if Dangote tells in your face lies, Nigerians will still not believe the NPC. So this is the, que the question that, uh, this is what the situation that we are facing. How, at, how much did you sell to them? You know why, as a journalist, I'm interested in that. Okay. This is what a lot of the people sit on social media and write mm -hmm. absolute nonsense, don't know. As a journalist, I want to know whether an NPC has thoroughly pleased me. Okay. Because if you come, except if he signed a pact of no di disclosure with them, oh, I don't see the big deal in saying this is how much I sold to them. After all, they have come out to say this is, whatever it is, whether it is dollar denominated or not, it still must have a price. In other words, what you're saying is what Dangote is doing is deliberate, not giving... He chose not to tell us. Hmm. Now people are telling us, oh, it's not obligated to... Well, absolute nonsense. You can't tell me that it's not obligated to tell us. Today, if I want to buy an airplane from Boeing, I know how much... They will sell it. It is public knowledge. Today, if you want to buy diesel from Dangote, I also know how much. But what we want, Nigerians want transparency. Let the NNPC too also okay. say, okay, we sold okay. The, uh, crude oil to him. This is how much we sold to him. He should then also tell us mm. how much he built them to refine.
Okay. It's as simple as that. All right, uh, BK, let me bring in CKN here. Looking at this media war, it all started with quality, now with price. Dangote is not saying anything. The, um, NMPC has given us you know, a, a breakdown. What, what are your thoughts on the back and forth, this media war? In terms of trust deficits, Dangote dropped the ball. Mm. Every time we come here and we talk about NMPC, we've always said time and time again that we, not just journalists, Nigerians don't trust NMPC because of the bogus claims, assertions, as well as promises that they make. We can go way back to how many years, several years. But when it comes to this issue of Dangote, I am totally aghast and like a bested by the attitude of the management of Dangote and also the corporate communication or PR department of that, of, of, of that, of that company. It's appalling. Because what they have done in the last few days is strictly unprofessional. Okay. At a point where what every Nigerians have been expecting to land, and they are supposed to heap up so much glory, they dropped the ball. And NMPC took the initiative. And what the NMPC have done is to, NMPC seems to be singing the victory song now, instead of <laughs> Dangote. Dan and that is very bad. This is NMPC that has four refineries. None is working. This is NMPC that have over 50 depots across Nigeria. None. There is no petroleum in any of them. This NMPC that have close to about 150 kilometers laid down pipes across Nigeria, okay. where, where um, uh, petroleum products are supposed to be. No single, even ordinary water is on, not on that pipe. But Dangote has come around and be able to build one of the biggest refinery in Africa and one of the biggest in the world. Mm. And for over 28 years, we've not had this, had this, this good. And it has come to the point where you are going to deliver. And let me tell you where the, the Dangote started dropping big ball. During the press conference that the um, CEO, president of Dangote had, okay. at that press conference, when he talked about petroleum, mm. he first of all made a good, he, he good. When he told the nation that the Federal Executive Council is going to determine, determine the, price, the price, I was shocked. When he lost, uh, he made a second, they made a second statement that NMPC is going to determine the price of petroleum. NMPC came out to say, no, it's not possible. Are they the ones refining? That, are they the ones? Because one thing they have forgotten is that NMPC is a competitor to Dangote Refinery, for goodness sake. They are competitors. Mm. So, what I'm saying in essence, now to even make the whole mess of this thing, okay. NMPC came to say that this is how much we bought petroleum products from India. And I was shocked by the statement that was issued by the, department, by the corporate communication department of Dangote okay. after. Where he said, we sold it to them in dollars. So if so what? All right. If you dollars a second. Has a value. Then okay. Does it dollar have a right. value? All right. No, no problem. I think right about now, let's take this conversation to another level. Right about now, we have uh, joining us via Zoom, the energy editor of Sun newspaper in person of Wale Sonyalu. Wale Sonyalu, it's so good to have you join us on this conversation on Journalist Hangout. Thank you very much. All right, well, sorry. the That's good the news good. is that um, NNPCL has begun lifting petrol. How significant is this? They started lifting petrol on Sunday. How significant is this in the oil sector? Well, thank you very much. Well, it's, um, it's a milestone that um, has been recorded with the commencement of operations at the Dangote refinery. I use this opportunity to congratulate Alagi Adikodangote, the NMPC help, and Nigerians. Now, having said that, the issue at hand now is a case of beyond, beyond um, accessibility. What Nigerians are interested in is affordability. If you look at it now, the cost of Imported PMS is somewhat cheaper now than what we are having that is being produced locally. 
at the NMPC retail outlets, a liter of PMS sells for 855 naira. Now, with the announcement, with the template that we have now from NMPC, it's about 950 for Lagos and over 1,000 naira in Bonu, 980 in Rivers. And different, we have different price templates across the country. Now, the question is, Nigerians are not ready to cut out that much in terms of expenses on PMS. It's going to be a huge burden on the pockets of the average Nigerian. By the time you are buying a liter of petrol at 950 naira per liter. Now, the independent petroleum marketers came out this morning to say the whole thing, it's, it's um, how, how did it, that doesn't make sense anymore. That if imported petrol is now cheaper than the ones that are produced locally, same thing with the conference of uh, United Political Parties. They equally came out with a statement condemning this price. Now, the Dangote Refinery issued a statement yesterday. And what I was looking for in that statement, I didn't get it at the end of the day. Now, NMPC said they bought from you at 898 naira per liter. And now you have said that is not true. What one would have expected is for them to give us, okay, what is your mm -hmm. price template? Mm -hmm. At how much did you sell to them? Oh. That is on the one hand. On the other hand, the Dangote refinery released about 16.3 million liters of PMS to NMPC, which is a, a far cry from the 25 million liters that was demanded for and paid for leaving them with a shortfall of about 8.7 million liters. Are we saying they don't have enough in stock to make this product go around or to supply what they, have, um, what they have paid for? So when you look at the whole thing, it's a whole lot of um, confusion. And I would have expected uh, Dangote, I mean the communications team to do better than this mm -hmm. in terms of leaving the judgment in the hands of Nigerians. By saying, okay, if you have said this is what you bought, okay, this is what we sold to you, then Nigerians can take a stand mm -hmm. at that point. But as it is now, we seems to be we seems to be at crossroads. Now you you said that uh, it looks like imported petrol is even cheaper than um, the one you find locally. The argument people always make is that Nigerian crude oil is the most expensive in the world. It's actually called the Lamborghini of the industry. Usually about $5 higher than um, WTI in Texas. Don't you think the fact that our crude oil is very expensive uh, has played a part in the kind of pricing that we are seeing um, coming out of uh, NMPC and Dangote refinery? Well, if that were to be the case, there are, there are some other things you have to consider. In the pricing templates of PMS, there are a lot of things that make up the pricing templates. And now, if you, are, if you are producing locally, some of those components would have been knocked out. One of it is, um, one of it is um, what's it called, the freight charge. Because you cannot compare what you would use in, in transporting a vessel of PMS, say from Rotterdam in Holland to Lagos, Nigeria, than what you have produced in-house there. So on what part you have been able to knock off that cost? Then in terms of insurance charges too, for that distance, because you have to insure, uh, which is called, I think, goods in transit, that cost again would have been knocked off. So when you look at that, Nigerians are expected so much that with the coming on stream of this refinery, petroleum products would, would be cheaper. But the reverse is what we have in our hands now. How, how will NMPC um, ensure that this product is uh, effectively circulated? Because for now it's like um, NMPC is the sole of takeout from Dangote, which is not what Nigerians uh, uh, wanted to see. Is, is looking like a mutual, um, mutually assured 
monopoly now between Dangote and uh, and um, the NMPC. How how will the NMPC be able to ensure that other marketers um, get the product? Well, I think we are we may be we may be running in the same circle, just like I mentioned earlier. The members of IPMA have said that if this locally refined product is higher than what imported product is, then it makes no sense of the whole exercise. Now, at this point, what I would expect is that I think the market should be opened up. I'll let independent marketers, major marketers, all those that are involved in the petroleum retail value chain, let them open up the market so that they can begin to import. I think that is the best. While waiting for the Portacot refinery to come on stream, let them report, let them return to importation so that we have a free market. So that prices are determined by the market. I think that is the best solution. But in this situation that we have found ourselves in, I cannot assure you that we have seen the, 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 the end of this. Um, now, we are looking at the current price um, before the Dangote, and uh, we are talking about about eight, 855 naira um, per liter. But the general impression is that that is not the landing cost of that petroleum product um, to Nigeria. It means because if you look at the landing cost from what we've had, it's about close to about 1,100 1, or 1,200. Yes. That means that the difference is the subsidy that is being is said that, is, that the federal government is paying or that NMPC is paying. Now, if we can be able to look at that as that as the issue, because we are, we are talking on when uh, I read through the Ipman um, um, press statement today, we are we are saying that oh the, that of Dangote is more expensive. That it is not more expensive if we put it vis a vis the landing cost. The landing cost is still more than what we are. But what we are talking about the subsidy. Now, the general impression Nigerians are having is that, is there a way we can bring some level of subsidy um, to um, the Dangote to make sure that this comes down? That is one. The second one is that Dangote, NAPC said that they paid um, for this product in dollars. But by 1st of October, that they will be paying in Naira. Do you think that in itself will have a significant, a significant effect on the price, on the price of the product? Starting from October 1st. Well, are you there? Yes. Did you hear me? Okay, you expect me to respond to that. Right? Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Uh, well, the Group for Naira Initiative is a wonderful one, and I think the federal government should be commended for that. This is a position that the Crude Oil Refiners Association of Nigeria have pushed for a long time. And thankfully, I think, graciously, the Federal Executive Council consented to that. You know, yes, I want to believe that by the time they begin to purchase uh, the crude in Naira, there may be a significant, a, 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 slight, a slight drop in the price of PMS. Yeah. Because issues around sourcing for Forex and all that will not occur anymore. So I think let's wait till then and let's see what uh, what plays out. Now talking about um, um, subsidy and the landing cost and which you mentioned, yes, as as at um, today the landing cost of PMS is slightly is over one thousand naira. Mm -hmm. If I'm right, I don't have the figures uh, after the one thousand naira. One thousand something is mm -hmm. is slightly above. Mm -hmm. But you want to agree with me? that with that price, it is obvious that there is still a sort of subsidy. Mm -hmm. Because if it was at that price, in addition to, it is not only the landing cost you look at, there are other associated costs, mm -hmm. apart from the landing cost. Mm -hmm. Transporters margin, MPA charges, the massa charges, and all that. By the time you add all those costs to it, by the time the, uh, the product is getting to the, pump, uh, to the pumps, Definitely, it will be inching around maybe around 1,000, 
1,000, what's it called? Maybe 1,170 1, naira or yeah, thereabouts. Yeah. Now, that is to tell you that what we are actually paying for petrol at this point in time is not the actual cost of petrol. Mm. That is just the truth about mm -hmm. it. Well, and I want to believe that even the, the cost that Dangote is, is giving, all right. I'm not sure that is the actual cost. All right, and that you. is why we need him to come out to All tell right, us you. what the actual cost is. Thank you. Right now, hundred and seven naira is not is not the real cost. Somebody is still absorbing okay. this cost. All right. Thank I think you. at this point. We need to be told the truth. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, uh, Wallace Sanyaoli. Thank you so much for having this conversation with us. Uh, Wallace Sanyaoli is the energy editor at the Sun Newspapers. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right. Journalist Hangout will be right back after this break. And when we're back, the conversation continues. Don't go anywhere.